All right, so today I wanna to give you a brief introduction or overview of sleep and some things I want you to pay particular attention to. So one of the questions on your quiz, the short answer is going to be about the different stages of sleep. So I want you to know the different stages of sleep, what are alpha and theta waves. And then I also want you to talk about how we progress through those different stages. So in stage one, when we just fall asleep, often if someone were to wake us, we wouldn't even report that we were sleeping. We are easily awakened out of this stage. In stage two, we start to go deeper into sleep and you see waves with a slightly higher amplitude and then you also see K complexes. So these, are, these look like little bitty jumps in the waves if you look at this on an EEG machine, which measures your brain waves. And then finally, the deepest stage of sleep is stage three. This is often where folks will see things like sleepwalking, for example. And this is where if you wake up out of this stage, even if you woke up and you answered a text or you did something, you might not even remember it happening at all. And then lastly, we go into REM. So REM stands for rapid eye movement. And so you can see this a lot easier in babies, but adults obviously have it too. And so this is when you close your eyes and behind your eyelids, you can see like rapid movement. And this is typically the stage of sleep that most of us dream in, or most of us have those very vivid dreams that we are able to recall later. So in this REM stage of sleep, our body is completely paralyzed. Um, so even though we are dreaming about moving and doing all sorts of things, our body is unable to move. And this is also sometimes people will wake up suddenly from this stage in sleep and think that like something is wrong with their physical body. So again, I want you to give me a brief overview of those four stages of sleep.